So today, y'all, so I'm finna tow somebody a uh, car finna head to Jacksonville and match somebody's shot. You allow me to borrow the trailer right now. So we're gonna see what the tow can do. We're gonna be towing this thing right here. Man, got a whole bunch of stuff on here. <laughs> Motor in the trunk. Alright, pay attention. Let's go. I'm turning. And can a Tahoe uh, take this truck? You gonna see. So guys, y'all wanna know the Tahoe been pull it, pulling it good like nothing uh, thus far, but we gotta see if we gonna make it. But as y'all can see, yeah. Uh, thanks to one of my coworkers, uh, he's an older guy. He's like the mechanic around our shop. He built this trailer back friend. They had built this uh, trailer. And man, I give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, the winch day, great, everything. So this making me wanna probably invest in the trailer sometime or even build my own. But we're gonna see what uh, the truck gonna do to Tahoe. Uh, my Tahoe got uh, stuff flashing, but it's like a misfire, but it's probably like a pack cool or something simple. It ain't nothing, but really I think it's the spark plugs like I said, but I mean, the truck is still running great. Like, I love this Tahoe, this thing is bulletproof. And then we got another uh, Tahoe up here. So yeah, we got my boy Tahoe up here. He needed help getting it towed, so I knew some people and stuff, and getting it done. We had to turn this hitch around too, because if I had it the other way, boy, that thing would have been dragging to the ground. I wouldn't have no type of clearance, but yeah. We're in Florida, somewhere near Lake City. So, man, it's beautiful. Goddamn trailer tire had popped. So, guys, as you can see, the tire had blew out. We, uh, the guy that we uh, recently seen, um, the person that we traveled with me, had called him back. And he getting us a tire, pumping it up and all that. But for here, we kind of like trying to unbend it out because you know the weight is kind of pressing down on it. But we try to make sure this up uh, out in the back. But we want to out it up. So guys, this is the bent valve right here. One of the lifters had one out. As you can see, that shit crazy. It hit. Uh, the head straight on and it caused a hole. But man, look at this man truck. But his whole motor, it, well, his head's just off, but he wasn't able to drive, so we had a uh, tow it. But as you can see, we still waiting for a tire and all that. We're on the highway. So, this is the engine right here. I wonder which valve was. I don't know. I'm not sure which one it was. So guys, we got the new tire on. Right now, I'm tightening it up. So we going like 30. As you can see, we only got like three wheels on the trailer now. Truck still doing good with this. Uh, well, the light not even flashing like it was, but. trailer we had two blowouts crazy but we're just going slow now taking it easy really not trying to risk nothing you know so yeah so, but it's, it's not so yeah we like in outskirts of uh jacksonville so it's gonna be a fun little ride so hopefully you know we make it and so i know we will make it but yeah so once we was taking it easy, about going about 30 to 40 miles per hour, uh, we started getting comfortable with it. I know we had stopped at a gas station, 
um, before we actually hit the road. And we was going about probably like 50. Um, we was, it was still riding good and stuff. Like I said, it was pretty risky, but we got it. So guys, the trailer did amazing. <laughs> For some reason, we was having uh, issues with that back left corner tire. Cause like, it seemed like all the weight was like on that back corner tire. And mind you, um, I was going probably about 60, 65. So when I did that, it just kept blowing the tire. But we repositioned the truck. We took the truck down, repositioned it uh, to uh, have all the weight towards the front, sort of, kind of. Uh, even though we didn't have one wheel, but um, that's what I was thinking the whole time because weight was just on that tire back there. And um, because his truck about, probably about 6,200 pounds because he got like a rough country uh, lift and everything on there. So. And he just had it on some uh, little 22s. Um, but, I mean, good thing we was able to get it. We just got to replace that tire tomorrow and fix some uh, stuff. Because I don't want to return nothing like uh, damage or anything. That's not me. Um, I would like to re have stuff, you know, return the way uh, they was left. And if I'm doing that for others, I would like them to do that for me and stuff. So, overall, though, it was a crazy crazy night crazy day it's like four in the morning um just got home should have been home at least about like eight and, but we had two blowouts and uh two uh different occasions the same highway i uh, was coming from like lake city and so when we get on it uh you know get off the exit well get on the interstate boom tiger go blow okay wait for the guy who we just had seen and he helped us um get it changed had to wait for him for a good minute got it changed boom go down the road a few minutes later tire blow again and we the only option we had was to have just one tire on that uh back side uh it was kind of risky but hey we made it and stuff so that's why i'm thankful for it and uh, we good but man when the first blowout happened it was like whoa like the tr the trailer just kind of like shifted it was just so crazy and it kind of had rubbed the other tires on the other side because like the weight was like kind of imbalanced but this trailer did pretty good um i feel like um probably the tires but the tires were brand new when i uh, told the guy about his trailer and stuff he wasn't tripping he was uh, real cool about it um but it's a pretty good trailer. I like the winch setup and everything uh, on here. I'm thinking about uh, getting me a trailer myself. So it's the winch right there, the controller, you got your battery and everything. So it's a nice, pretty setup and then you got straps and all that. So, pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, the Tahoe did its thing. The Tahoe did not skip a beat. This truck was just pulling it like nothing. This truck do not skip a beat. I'll tell you that. This truck do not skip a beat. This thing was pulling that truck like nothing. Nothing. Oh, I'm really proud of it, but um, it's going to be an end for it for a little bit because I want to redo like the interior, like for real, for real. And I'm going to start towing with my Mercedes. Um, for my ATV channel and stuff, so I'm starting going to ATV parts, uh, seeing new places and stuff. So, yeah, like I said, this trailer did pretty damn good. And the guy built this, uh, when he was like in the Navy, him and some other guy. He had aluminum ramps that go in this groove right here. The ramps used to sit right there, as you can see. Yeah, all night, I tell you that. All night, one day. So we just gotta get your slew cosmetic stuff fixed up, and we are good. But this, he really be carrying hot rods and stuff, like smaller cars and stuff. So I'm pretty sure I was the first big tahoe or truck because he asked me which uh, what car I was pulling he said you pulling a, a, a pickup truck i'm like no i'm uh, picking up a tahoe he said okay so i mean 
it still did what it did. I'm just amazed. Yep, that's it though. Y'all have a good night. Stay tuned. Um, like I said, Tahoe did an amazing job. I really did. No overheating, no nothing. Um, like I said, I, pro I got a little misfire. I'm thinking it's uh, spark plugs because, well, not what well, a spark plug. Uh, yeah, spark plug uh, cable. I think that's uh, uh, causing the reason. And also, I need to check the spark plug. So once I uh, put this truck to the side, rip into, uh, I'm going to go in the engine and check the little reminder stuff and all that. But overall, truck running so damn good. Y'all should have seen how it was earlier. The thing was like so damn squatted too. It was just crazy. But truck did good today. I just can't keep stressing it enough. Uh, thank God we out of this uh, situation. I can wash up, go lay down, and get my ass back up early in the morning and start a new day.